सो वेलकम टू एम जे एस अकेडमी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद अ न्यू लेक्चर ऑफ आर लेसन दैट इज एडिशन एंड सब्रैक्शन दिस इज आर थर्ड स्टैंडर्ड आई पी एम सीरीज सो लेट एस स्टार्ट हियर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट एडिशन एंड सब्रैक्शन there are total four fundamental operations that is addition subtraction multiplication and division so in this lesson we will learn about these and in further lessons or the next chapters we will learn about multiplication and division also so let us learn it if zero is added or subtracted from a number the number is equal to the number itself so here it is telling us that when we add zero to any number so let us take an example if we add zero to 1 that is 1 plus 0 what is zero zero is nothing so we are adding nothing to 1 so our answer would be 1 so that is the similar case is with subtraction when 1 is subtracted by 0 when 1 is subtracted by nothing so the answer remains One simple. So that was the meaning of our first statement. The next is in the combination problems. Combination problem means that if in the problem both addition and subtraction are given. So let us take again an example. So here we will take up an example here as if they have given that fifty one. Plus nine minus five. So here in this statement, we will we can see that first there is addition and the second there is subtraction. So here first, as they have given that step one, first we will solve this addition and then step two subtraction. Then we will solve this subtraction. So first let us. Add these both. So fifty one plus nine. Let us see fifty one plus nine. One plus nine is ten. One gets carry over sixty. Okay. So we have our answer as sixty. So the remaining part is sixty minus five. Now what remains is this subtraction. So sixty minus five. We can clearly see the answer is. Fifty-five. So this was our example of combination problems. The next is you can add numbers in any order. The sum would remain the same. So here we can see that in addition, if we add any random uh, uh, numbers, like if we take again an example, as we can see that if we add. One plus two plus three plus four plus five. One plus two is three. Three plus three is uh, six. Six plus four is ten. Ten plus five is fifteen. So here we added it. We got fifteen. Then if we just write three plus five plus four plus one. Plus two. So all the numbers are same, but we have changed the order. And what remains is three plus five is eight. Eight plus four is twelve. Twelve plus one is thirteen. Thirteen plus two is fifteen. So here we can see that if we add all the numbers in any of the order, the sum which is fifteen remains the same. Then, if one is added. The answer would be the next number, and if one is subtracted, the answer would be the previous number. So this is a very good statement, as we could see that if we add one to any number, let us say three, three plus one would give us four, which is the next number of three, and if we subtract one from it, three minus two. Sorry. Three minus 
वन द आंसर वुड बी टू सिंपल प्रीवियस नंबर नेक्स्ट नंबर सो दिस वॉज द फोर इम्पॉर्टेंट स्टेटमेंट्स रिगार्डिंग एडिशन एंड सब्ट्रैक्शन सो लेट एस मूव ऑन टूअर्ड्स द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ दिस लेसन सो हियर इन दिस लेसन वी विल लर्न फोर्थ वर्टिकल एडिशन प्लस सब्ट्रैक्शन एंड हॉरिजोंटल एडिशन प्लस सब्ट्रैक्शन सो हियर इन आर फर्स्ट मेथड ऑफ वर्टिकल एडिशन स्लैस सब्ट्रैक्शन वी कैन सी our first type is without carry over so in this we are not going to carry over any digit or number so this is known as simple addition and subtraction so let us solve it here it is our addition sign so we will add this 8 plus 1 gives us 9 6 plus 0 anything added to 0 is that same number So six, four plus two gives us six. Two plus three, five. So our answer is five thousand six hundred and sixty-nine. The next is five three two four minus one two one. So four minus four. Anything subtracted by that same number gives us zero directly. So this answer is zero. Next is two minus one. When two one is subtracted from any number, the answer would be the previous number. The previous number of two is one. The next is three minus two. So three minus two gives us one. And five minus one is four. So. this was our vertical addition without carry over so now let us learn with carry over method so our next type is with carry over so this is a um, a little hard method but it it would be simple so 9 plus 3 9 plus 3 we can see it is greater than 10 it is going into two digits in addition 9 plus 3 basically gives us 12 so it is a two digit number so in that two digit number of 12 we will write its units digit that is 2 12 the unit digit is 2 and the tens digit is 1 so we will take that 1 as carry over here so this carry over will do nothing but add in the next row that simple so next row would be 7 plus 5 7 plus 5 basically also gives us 12 but 12 plus 1 we have one extra here so 12 plus 1 is 13 so we will write 13 its units digit in our next here yes so here we can see we will we have written 3 the unit digit here and the one of that 13 would go in the next row here 3 plus 6 Is nine, nine plus one is ten. So ten, the unit digit is zero. So we will write zero here, and that one would go in the next row. Eight plus four, also twelve. Twelve plus one is thirteen. Again, same. So three, and this one gets added here. This will go on till um any uh means. the value that is here 10000 it doesn't have two digit number after adding that is 4 plus 3 is 7 7 plus 1 is 8 it will stop this process so our answer would be 83032 next we will learn subtraction with carry over hmm. so here in this we can see that 3 minus 5 basically 3 minus 5 cannot happen so to uh, make this 3 bigger we will take 1 from the number which is ahead of it so it would get cancelled and it would remain as 6 yes it would remain as 6 up there the next 
would be this one would go here and make this number as 13 so now we can subtract 13 minus 5 so 13 minus 5 would give us 8 so we will write 8 here again 6 minus 8 this is a smaller number so 1 from this place again this would become 5 and this would become 16 this would become 16 so 16 minus 8 would also give us 8 then 5 minus 9 so 5 is also smaller so 1 from here this would become 8 and this would become 15 15 minus 9 would basically gives us 6 8 minus 6 is 4 no sorry 2 so our number here is 2688 so this were the method with carry over it is a little bit complicated but would be understood with practice so practice these kinds of questions so this was vertically vertical addition slash subtraction now we will learn horizontal addition and subtraction so our next method is horizontal addition and subtraction so here we will horizontally add and subtract so in this first we have to see the unit digits and tens digits separately all the digits in their place should be subtracted or added with the digit in that place only okay so here we can see unit digit with a unit digit so unit digit is 2 we will add it with 3 2 plus 3 would give us 5 so we will write 5 in the unit digits then 3 plus 4 gives us 7 so this is in tens digit so we will write it in tens digit so our answer is 75 next 436 minus 125 so unit digit subtraction 6 minus 5 is 1 3 minus 2 is 1 4 minus 1 is 3 so our answer is 3 uh, 311 so this is our completion of this lecture and please subscribe like and share to MGS Maths and Science Academy after subscribing you are supporting this academy to make such new and interesting videos so please subscribe